Father, we thank you for your grace. Father, we thank you for your mercies. Father, we thank you for your power. You alone are the great I am. You alone are the Prince of Peace. You alone are the mighty God. Father, we thank you for this day. Father, we thank you for this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus, you alone deserve all the praise. You alone deserve all the honor. You alone deserve all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The name of the Lord is to be exalted. The name of the Lord is to be lifted on high. Father, we thank you for your love. Father, we thank you for your goodness. Father, we thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. Thank you, Lord, that your mercies are new every morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, indeed, you alone deserve all the praise. Indeed you alone deserve all the honor indeed you alone deserve all the adoration father we thank you for this day father we thank you for this moment in the mighty name of jesus from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same the name of the lord is to be praised the name of the lord is to be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus, as we lift up the name of the Lord, as we honor the name of the Lord, may your name be exalted, may your name be glorified. You alone are worthy, you alone are mighty, you alone are the great I am, you alone are the Prince of Peace, you alone are the King of Kings, you alone are the Lord of Lords. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, as we lift up the name of the Lord, as we honor the name of the Lord, as we adore the name of the Lord, as we glorify the name of the Lord, as we uplift the name of the Lord, may the name of the Lord be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day. Father, we thank you for this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for taking care of us. You who never sleep nor slumber you watch over us day and night in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord for your mercies which are new every morning in the mighty name of jesus oh lord have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus have mercy upon us as individuals have mercy upon us as a couple have mercy upon us as a family have mercy upon us as a community have mercy upon us as a church have mercy upon us as a country lord forgive us of all our sins and cleanse us with your your precious blood in the mighty name of jesus oh son of david have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus may you alone cleanse us may you alone wash us may you alone purge us in the mighty name of jesus whatever sin we have committed we repent of our sins we repent of our wrongs we repent of every wrongdoing in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you right now as we glorify and surrender to you totally in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you for this day father we thank you for this moment in the mighty name of jesus oh lord we thank you lord for every miracle thank you lord for every breakthrough thank you lord for every answer thank you lord for every solution thank you lord for every total turnaround in the mighty name of jesus as we lift up the name of the lord as we own the name of the Lord, as we praise the name of the Lord, as we worship the name of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you right now as we glorify your holy name. You alone deserve all the praise. You alone deserve all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to cover the worldwide footprint with prayers. We want to cover zone A. We want to cover zone B. We want to cover zone D. We want to cover uh, uh, zone E. And all those who live beyond, we are trusting that distance is not a barrier. I want to read from Jeremiah. Then from there, we continue praying. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29. Jeremiah 23, verse 29 says, Does not my word burn like fire? Ask the Lord, is it not like a mighty hammer that smashes rock to pieces? So I want to look at it from the last part where it says, is it not like a mighty hammer that smashes rock to pieces? Now, the Lord is using this metaphor of a hammer. We all know that a hammer is very strong. Is a very powerful tool. It's a very powerful instrument. When you want to break the rocks, no matter how big the rock is, 
you can use a hammer they're different sizes but depending on the type of rock you want to break you get that hammer and you begin to hit that rock so something i learned from this metaphor is that number one the hammer is powerful the armor is strong so the lord is saying his word is powerful his word is strong his word is mighty it can demolish anything even the hardest thing it can demolish the most stubborn thing the most resistant thing the hammer can break it so the word of god can break anything the word of god can smash anything that's number one number two if you understand an armor the way it is that hammer is strong that armor is powerful but it needs somebody to pick it and use it as much as it is strong as much as it is powerful somebody needs to pick it the lord god almighty must use that word even you and i the word of, the word of god is powerful the word of god is strong it can smash anything but we need to pick that word and begin to hit the rock whatever the rock is a metaphor of anything so whatever you may put as a uh, lord in a situation a circumstance a trouble a sickness whatever it can be that rock so the word of god you pick it and you begin to hit the rock so that hammer needs hands to be used so the word of god you must use it it is you to use that word it is you to use that word the word of god is not just meant to be read where you just read it no the word of god is meant to be used and you use it like an hammer and this is where now uh, uh this saying comes in the one which i have put up he says keep saying it now why am i saying keep saying it those who have broken uh rocks before you will understand that sometimes when you begin to hit a rock it will not break there and then some rocks are very strong they are very hard very hard to break just there and then but you keep hitting that rock you keep hitting the rock with the hammer you keep hitting the rock with the hammer so you keep saying it you keep saying it you keep saying it as you are hitting the rock with the hammer what are you doing you are saying it you keep saying it you keep saying it because the lord's there she's saying the his word is like a hammer so you keep saying that word if that word has to do uh, the rock is sickness then you keep saying the word of healing keep saying that word of healing keep saying that word of healing keep saying that word of healing if the rock is poverty keep saying that word of prosperity of blessing whatever keep saying that word in the mighty name of jesus so whatever rock it is you get the word of god and begin to hit that rock until it breaks so when you hit that rock yes it will be strong yes it will be hard yes it will resist but as you continue hitting it it will suddenly break it will suddenly break into pieces it will be smashed into pieces i decree and declare today as we declare the word of god that rock shall be smashed into pieces in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you right now father we glorify your holy name keep saying it never get tired in the mighty name of jesus we continue to declare the word of god in the mighty name of jesus for it is written that i am blessed and highly favored in the mighty name of jesus i keep saying it in the mighty name of jesus no matter the situation even if i have no money in my pocket i'll keep on saying the word of god the lord says i am blessed and highly favored in the mighty name of jesus no matter how hard it is no matter how strong that rock is in the mighty name of jesus i keep hitting that rock i keep hitting that rock and i know that rock 
shall be smashed into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. It will suddenly give up in Jesus' mighty name. For it is written by his stripes I will heal it in the mighty name of Jesus. Even though I may feel the pain right now, even if I'm down right now, even if I feel sick right now, I keep saying it that I am healed. I am healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness has no place in the mighty name of Jesus. This is how I have lived. You all know my story that I have been sick for many years and I kept saying the word the time I became born again. I continue to declare the word of God. I will never be sick again. I will never be sick again. I will never die in the mighty name of Jesus. That is according to God's word. In the mighty name of Jesus, John chapter 11, or verse 25 and 26. In the mighty name of Jesus, do you believe this? I believe I will never be sick again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I confront every sickness. I keep on hitting. In the mighty name of Jesus, no matter the situation, no matter the condition, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, keep saying that word. Keep saying the word of God. Keep saying the word of God in your situation. In your no matter how hard that rock is no matter how hard that situation is no matter how strong it is no matter how long it has been there i come oh lord in the name of the lord and i'm using the word of god which is like a hammer and i keep smashing that rock i keep smashing that i keep hitting that rock i know it will be smashed into pieces and i like the metaphor where it's used that it will be smashed into pieces when something is hit into pieces it will be difficult to pick those pieces and begin to put them back some pieces are scattered some pieces will fall somewhere else in the mighty name of jesus i declare today by the authority of the name of jesus that rock of poverty that rock of lack that rock of Oh Lord of poverty of hand to mouth, that rock, oh Lord of lack, that rock of, rock of unemployment, that rock, oh Lord of not finding a husband, or not finding a wife, or not having children, that rock that has been in the family, that ancestral power, that ancestral curse, that ancestral witchcraft, that rock that has been there, and everyone have there, there says nothing can change. It has been like this for ages. This rock has been here for a long long time no everyone has dared and nothing has worked i come in the name of the lord i come in the name of the lord i come in the name of the lord and i use the word of god which is like a hammer and i begin to hit the rock no matter how hard it is child of god don't give up when you are hitting a rock when you are hitting a rock sometimes oh lord it will not break just there and there. Oh, and you feel tired. Go back. Oh, sometimes it may take days. Sometimes it may take weeks. Sometimes it may take months. Sometimes it may take years. Keep hitting. Keep hitting that rock. 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 With the word of God. 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 Which is like a hammer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Keep hitting that rock, that rock of sickness, that rock of disease, that rock of pain, keep hitting it in the mighty name of Jesus, that ancestral curse, that ancestral witchcraft, whatever has persisted, that evil occurrence upon the land of Zambia, I keep hitting that rock, I keep hitting that rock, sometimes they'll tell you, oh Lord, this has been in existence before you were born, before your fathers were born, it has been there. But I come in the name of the Lord. The word of God is like a hammer. The word of God is like a hammer. I keep hitting that rock. I keep hitting that rock. I keep hitting that rock. As I am praying right now, I am hitting that rock. I am hitting that rock. Every time I am praying, I am hitting that rock. I am hitting the rock of Bino Ayenge. I am hitting the rock of Kanyama. I am hitting the rock of Lusaka. I am, the, I am hitting the rock of Zambia. I break that rock. I break that rock. And I know 
in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has never failed. It will break that rock and that rock shall be smashed into pieces. It will be smashed into pieces. Bruno Ayende shall be smashed into pieces. Lusaka shall be smashed into pieces. Zambia shall be smashed into pieces. All the sicknesses smashed into pieces. Poverty smashed into pieces. Oh Lord, all that confusion, all that manipulation, oh smashed into pieces. All the arrows of darkness and witchcraft smashed into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare your life to turn around. In the mighty name of Jesus, and I declare it shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. Those pieces shall never come back together. Oh, your life now is turning around for good. Turning around for good. You will never go back to that life. Never go back to that position. Never go back to that status. Never go back. I smash that rock into pieces. I smash it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, no matter the resistance you may put up, oh, that's why, child of God, I keep on telling you, if you are going to win, never give up, never give up, be consistent every time. Oh, Lord, I remember some time back uh, when we were staying in Chungola, we wanted to put uh, all those, uh, some rocks somewhere, and so it was hard to find them. So we were told, uh, there are some rocks somewhere we need to go and break and we went there we needed to break the rocks oh lord so that they can be smashed into smaller pieces and then put them oh lord in the mighty name of jesus and we started the first time it was hard you will hit oh lord in the mighty name of jesus you will feel the pain in your hands but we kept on hitting the rocks we kept on hitting the rock we kept on hitting the rock we kept on hitting the rock suddenly it started to crack suddenly it started to crack oh sometimes it took days sometimes it took weeks but we kept on going and breaking the rock child of god don't give up continue declaring the word of god keep saying it keep saying it keep saying it keep saying it never get tired never be moved by emotions of feelings never be moved by the situation around you yes the situation is telling you something else but keep saying that word keep declaring that word keep speaking that word keep declaring that word in the mighty name of jesus and i can assure you that rock shall crack that rock shall break that rock shall be smashed into pieces in the name of jesus and your life shall change and the testimony shall change hey, people come who come and say how did this happen they are saying it one day but you started hitting that rock many years ago in the mighty name of jesus Oh, it is not today that we are praying for Bruno Ayenge. It is not for today we started praying for Lusaka. It is not today we started praying for House of Wonders. We started many years ago in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, but we have never gotten tired. We have never gotten tired in the mighty name of Jesus. And we'll never get tired in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll keep hitting that rock, whatever rock, the rock of witchcraft, the rock of satanism, the rock of occultism. In the mighty name of Jesus, we'll keep hitting that rock, we'll keep hitting every rock until they are smashed, until they are broken into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come in the name of the Lord and I break that rock, that rock in your marriage, that rock with your children, that child is so stubborn, that husband is so stubborn, that wife is so stubborn, but I come with the hammer of the word of God and I begin to hit that stubborn husband, that stubborn wife, that stubborn child. In the mighty name of Jesus, that's a I confront every spell, I confront every power, I confront every witchcraft, I confront every spell. Be healed, be delivered, be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, I turn around your story, I turn around your position, I turn around your direction. Receive your miracle, receive your answer. That stubborn boss who cannot, who cannot recommend you for promotion or for, 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 for an increment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I smash them into pieces. Everyone fear them. Everyone say no one has ever moved them. No one has ever changed. I've been there. Where the situation? I remember one time as we went to buy iron sheets for the church back in Mumba. We were, we were in this company and I asked her, I said, let them give me a discount. That man says, no, 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 no. This man is so stubborn. He has never given anyone a, a, a discount. Even you, you will never be given a discount. 
And I remember there was another church before you which even bought more iron sheets than you. They paid more money. They asked for a discount. The man refused them. He says, no, I don't give discounts in the mighty name of Jesus. So I tell, I told this salesman, says, no, 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 no. Go there and tell him that I want a discount in the mighty name of Jesus. He refused. I said, my boss is stuck. You don't know him. You don't know him. I said, no, go back. Well, sorry, go and tell him. He was his hesitant to go. I kept on insisting to say, go. So he went and told the, 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 the boss, he's an Indian man. He told him, he says, no, oh, uh, there's this man. He's asking for a discount. He has bought this. Well, when he came back, he came back shaking his head. He says, I've never seen this before. I have never experienced this before. This man today has accepted to give you a discount. And because of that discount, we even bought more things. Instead of just buying the iron sheets, we bought the ridges, we bought some, some more lip channel in the mighty name of Jesus. And we were able to take care of other things in Jesus mighty name. No matter how stubborn it is, no matter how strong it is, it shall break her, it shall break her, it shall break her, it shall break her. That area they say the business here, I will know Chari Kakanana, he had ground, Kuno Kukanyama, he had ground, Pleno Ayende, he could had ground, Lusaka is had ground, Zambia is had ground, Mumbwa is had ground, Chingola is had I've been told those stories. Where you are coming is at ground. I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of the Lord. I smash it. I smash that hard ground. I smash it. 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 I smash it into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I smash it into pieces. I smash it into pieces. I smash it into pieces. That hard ground, that hard ground where you are doing your business, that, that ground where you are working, that hard ground where, where you, are, you are living as a family, I smash that place into pieces, that community into pieces, that area into pieces, that road into pieces. Whatever satanism, whatever witchcraft you are put there, I smash it into pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day. Father, we thank you for this moment. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. I thank you, Lord, for this day. I give you all the praise. For the Lord says, his word is like a mighty hammer that smashes the rock into pieces. Jeremiah 23, verse 29. Thank you, Lord. And I seal all this with your precious blood. And I declare it is permanent. Amen.